Hi everyone, this is Beth, and I'm glad to be here with you for yet another Friday afternoon chat. I'm very excited to be showing you this video because I think it is a cure for sagging skin. And you might notice that in my thumbnail, I put sagging skin cure and I put a question mark because I am in the midst of an experiment. It's been 30 days into it. Today is the second day I'm going to do this treatment, but the reason that I believe that this treatment is really going to work is due to a wonderful video that I saw, and I will link it below, and I would totally urge you to go to Bubsy Beauty, and she has almost 3 million subscribers, and she is this absolutely darling Asian young woman. I was gonna say girl, but that kind of belittled her, but she's very, very young. But she has done a beautiful study of derma rolling for saggy skin on her tummy. And this is her before and after picture after six months of doing derma rolling just once a month on her saggy tummy and look at the before and the after. And looking at that, you would think, oh my gosh, this can't happen. She would have had to have had a tummy tuck, but she did not have a tummy tuck. And in her video, you're going to get a sense of her as first a very nice young woman, but also very honest and kind of upfront about her situation. I think she had two children and she had some sort of a condition during her pregnancy that made her get a massively huge tummy. And it was huge, you'll see that in the video. And it really left her skin very wrinkled and dry and just kind of used up. And really her results were totally amazing. Her name is Lindy, and I hope after you watch my video, you'll follow the link to her video. And please tell her hi from Beth in the comments, because I always want to reward good YouTubers who have great videos and share them with you. And I think after you see her video, you'll be pretty convinced that derma rolling can be a wonderful solution for those of us who are getting baggy, saggy skin as we get older. And I am getting that too. And uh, I've gotten to the point that I hate to wear shorts. I'm becoming one of those little old ladies that I never wanted to be. I always said, I will always wear a swimsuit. I will always wear shorts. And I had stopped wearing shorts last summer because I felt like my thighs were looking so baggy. However, I really think that the derma rolling is starting to show results on my thighs. I have to admit that I'm also doing some weight training and I'm 30 days into that. I've had exactly four weeks of that weight training can hardly wait to show you a video on the results of the weight training, but I really want to wait either to the end of the second month or the third month to be able to show you some good before and after pictures. But that could have something to do with the fact that my thigh skin is starting to look more firm. And another video that I can hardly wait to share with you in the future is a review of the book Happiness Advantage. And I have done the tools and techniques from this book and I've been doing them now for about the past three weeks and they are making a tremendous difference in my level of happiness. And for those of you who have seen my last few videos about why I left YouTube and then why I came back again, you'll know that all in my first half, I suffered from a lot of kind of mild depression, kind of the feeling that is that all there is or something great would happen and I'd just be kind of like, oh, you know, that's okay, but... And I was always budding my life and making myself more unhappy than I needed to be. And I have truly noticed that through using these techniques that I've learned in this Happiness Advantage book, that I am really getting happier. And my days are becoming much more fun. And I'm excited to share that with you for those of you who suffer from sort of mild, low-level depression. Okay, let's get into what I am doing for my saggy skin. Well, rather than telling you about it here, let me take you into my bathroom and I'll show you the second session that I've done with this. And then I'm going to be doing it once a month and I'll follow up with you at the end of six months and we'll see if I had some good progress. Okay, friends, here I am in my bathroom. Here's my bathroom. And here I am in my swimsuit. Actually, normally it doesn't show my tummy because I don't like my tummy to be showing because it's kind of wrinkly and baggy and saggy but, oh, you can't see it. It's just kind of a swimsuit uh, with shorts on the bottom, which as we get to be a little older, it's nice to be covered up like that. But anyway, this is my 1.5 derma roller, and I always write what it is on the side because, because sometimes you lose the little case. This is a 1.5 derma roller, and for your body skin, you can use a 1 point or a 1.5, for your face, you should really never go higher than a 0.5 derma roller, and that is for wrinkles and fine lines and that kind of thing. If you want to just use your derma roller to help your cosmetic uh, kind of skincare items sink in, you can use a 0.25. 
And I always have a little bottle of alcohol here. There's my bottle of alcohol. And I wash this with soap and water and then I spray it before and after with alcohol. Okay, and let me start with this tummy. And the tummy is not too bad after two kids, but it is definitely kind of wrinkly and baggy and saggy. I wish I could get in closer, but well, let me see if I can. Okay, there we are, and there's my saggy skin tummy, and the skin just gets a little, little saggy, and I have some, um, oh, I had a birch bladder tie up, so I've got a few little scars down there somewhere. Here's a little scar. Okay, so let's go ahead, and I'll just derma roll my tummy, and what I'm going to be doing is I'll show you my tummy derma rolling, and then half of my body, and I'll do the other half off camera. And to do this, you just kind of take this, and do about 10, 8, 9, 10. Then you're just going to go here. And it helps to pull the skin taut. 7, 8, 9, 10. And then there, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And here we go. 2, 3, 4, 5, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and you're pressing firmly, but you're not necessarily drawing blood. You probably really shouldn't draw blood. Although when I've gone to an esthetician and had this done, sometimes they do draw blood, and that's okay. In fact, they, they try to go for that, but I don't think it's really necessary. And I noticed in Lindy's video, she did not draw blood and she certainly had great results. And the whole idea behind this is you're making little micro punctures in the skin, it is getting red. Then your blood and all rushes to the surface to heal the skin and apparently new collagen tends to grow. Eight, nine, 10. And I'm pretty much going to be doing this all over my body <laughs> because I think we have a saggier skin as we get older everywhere. So there is the up and down, and then we're going to go side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And what I do is I just put a little alert in my cell phone for the first day of every month, it's actually the 28th, I think, but I wanted to do this video today, so I'm a few days early. But it just reminds me that on the first, I want to do my derma rolling. Also, I clean my jewelry on the first too, because uh, that is one of the habits I started, because I was not cleaning my jewelry like ever. And just doing it sporadically doesn't work for me. I have to have it on a schedule or it doesn't get done. I've really noticed that about habits. And then you go kind of diagonal, diagonal, diagonal. I may speed this up, girls. And then you go the other direction. You're definitely getting a lot of punctures here, probably thousands when you think about it. And when I had my breast fat transfer to remove my silicone implants, they did a little lipo on my tummy. So that's why it's a little bit uneven too. That happens and I'm hoping that that will all kind of uh, get taut. Okay, there is the tummy. Now we'll do a little bat wing action. And I don't do the diagonals on the arms. I really just pretty much go up and down because there's not much arm space. But again, I do 10. And I even go on the tops of the arms because our skin 
gets thin everywhere. And as we age, wouldn't it be nice to keep our nice, young, thick skin? And I think it's possible, especially seeing what Lindy did in her video. And back here, where that fat is, actually that's a bat wing. And I'm gonna go here. And I think, since I'm not planning to go any other directions on the arm, I'm just going to give this one more little, one more little up and down motion. Now, I'm also going to do the elbows because they get to be like the skin on Lindy's belly. They just get kind of dry and elephant-like. Maybe we will go across the elbows because it does not hurt at all. In fact, really none of this really hurts. Now, I'm going to get this part of the arm, which is where I particularly notice that my mother's skin is thin. And then we go here. That hurts a little bit on that bone there. I'm doing this probably a little faster with you than I would just if I were doing it myself. So you really should kind of slow down and make sure that you're not, to make sure that you're going in a straight line because you really don't want to kind of go across all of a sudden because you could be kind of ripping your skin a little bit. And again, since I'm not going to go any other direction, I'll just kind of go over everything one more time. Now I'll do the backs of the hands. Go clear up on the thumb. I should probably have my rings off. Oh well. <laughs> We definitely get crepey skin on the backs of our hands. In this case, I think I will go across. Maybe a little diagonal there. A little diagonal here. Okay, I have the bat wing, I have the wing, I have the tummy. Um, I would also do kind of the butt area. <laughs> which I don't know if I want to show you my butt area. Probably not. You probably don't want to see that anyway. But I, I have been doing my butt because I do have some stretch marks back there. Fun, fun, fun. And it's definitely baggy and saggy. So I will show you doing my legs. Just the inside. Just do 10 again. I'm going to do a video in the future about getting rid of these little hemangionas. You probably can't see that, but they're just the little, they look like blood blisters. They're red. And I was just in the dermatologist this morning. She was doing my annual mold check. Ever since I had that fibroblastoma, I think it's called, on my face and had it removed, which was not fun, I go for an annual mold check and I would recommend you do that too. See my love handles there. Fun, fun, fun. Again, I'm just going in one direction because it's too difficult to go across this way. And it's easy to kind of wound yourself that way, I've noticed. I have some stretch marks right up here. So I'm gonna hit those a little harder. And I will do them crossways too. I've actually been doing these stretch marks on and off for probably a year and a half, two years, and they really are almost not noticeable now. And I do go across them. When you have stretch marks, you probably have to go a little harder on them. Now we're gonna do the diagonal. 
You can do the other diagonal. Ooh, that's a really red. So that's a very red leg there. So that is my red tummy, my red leg. And basically, let me put you back up here. Okay, and I will do the other side of my body off camera and also my butt. And I'm also doing my lower leg because I want that skin to stay firm too. And I will give you my impressions after six months. And before I started this a month ago, I did take close up pictures of all of my kind of baggy saggy areas. And so we'll see if we can produce some good results. Well, that was a look at month two of my saggy skin cure. And I'm very excited to see if it works because ever since I came to my channel and actually even before that, I thought if there's one thing that I would love to be able to impart upon the world to share with my female viewers and even my male viewers is the cure for sagging skin. Because I noticed my mother who is 85 and she's been on hormones all these years. She exercises, she's done everything right, but she's got the, you know, the saggy bat wings and I'm starting to get those and I don't want those and I don't want to shy away from shorts anymore. I really want firm skin. And if there's any way that derma rolling can do that for us, then I think it's definitely worth pursuing. And I have to say that every time I'm in an esthetician's office or a plastic surgeon's office, I always ask about if they think derma rolling works. And they're always like, yes, it absolutely does. And the scientific research supports that it does. So I think there's a very good chance that derma rolling could help firm up our sagging skin. Now, important things to remember, sanitation always. Always sanitize your derma roller with alcohol before and after use. Never share your derma roller with anyone else. Do replace your derma roller fairly regularly because some of the little tines can get bent and that would not go into your skin well and that could produce problems. I'm trying to think if there's anything else about it. Oh yes, in that video, Lindy did say one thing that I know is really not correct and I wish she would not be doing this because I did talk to a plastic surgeon about the use of vitamin C serums along with the derma rolling. And they said they did a study because they thought that using vitamin C would help. And some of those women developed granulomas in the little derma roll puncture areas because the vitamin C would sink into the skin and form little granules. So, you know, I would not use vitamin C for sure. If I would use anything, it would probably be hyaluronic acid serum because that would give your skin a little bit of slip. In fact, I think I will order some of that before my next month's derma roll. But I will show you in six months the results that I have achieved. And another video that will be coming up, which I'm really excited about, is take a look at my teeth. They are wider than they have ever been. And I've got a video that I'm going to be doing because I used this for a long time, this five minute natural white, swore by this, and then I tried Crest Strips and I will give you my opinion on which worked better. This is a lot more expensive than this, but if it works, then probably it would be the one that I would recommend, but I'm not going to tell you. That will be kind of a mystery for a future video, but I really do think one of them really does work very well. Okay, thank you for watching my video. I really appreciate it, friends. It is so nice to have you here. Let me go ahead and finish up with one of these Gabriel Bernstein Miracles Now cards. Okay, let's go ahead and see what positive thought we can think about for today. And I will tell you, my monitor broke. So instead of having a large monitor, which I usually read these cards in, I've got this little tiny one, so I'm going to have to just read it this way. To travel further on my path of personal growth, I call on my spiritual running buddies for help. To travel further on my path of personal growth, I call on my spiritual running buddies for help. And you know, I really do like this card and it totally brings to mind what I have been going through and finally what I have been learning after years and years of reading positive thinking self-help books. I consider my spiritual running buddies a lot of the authors that I've been reading lately. For those of you who saw my habits video recently, I read a couple of books on habits, actually listened to books on tape, and they made a huge difference in my life. I feel so good. And on the happiness journey, I'm reading some books which are backed by scientific research, and I love that. It's not just somebody's ideas on what will make us happy. It's the actual scientific research on specific things we can do to make us happy. And I consider that those books and those authors, because they've studied these things so much, 
I call them my spiritual running buddies. Well, I didn't until today. And really a lot of those authors who have done the research and brought us the things that they have learned in great books or audio books, they really are our spiritual running buddies. And sometimes it's helpful to call on those authors for help. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.